Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to the channel. I'm on a hay field, you can tell, and uh, we are baling the middle piece of Lavasser's uh, field, which we did not get a chance to do last time. And we've done this big chunk, and the front has been mowed, and we did not get a chance to bale that because it rained. And Nate has raked all of this already. He's checking the hay. It sounds nice and crunchy so far. How's it feel, Nate? You want to roll it over one more time with the rake? No, I raked and raked and raked it yesterday. All like right. It. So there's some on this side over here that we're not going to touch because it's full of poison ivy, and we learned our lesson with that last year. So that's just going to, we're going to leave that there. Mow it because otherwise the little cherry trees in there would take over. That's primarily why we're here. Uh, the people that own this field um, don't want the hay, so we can have it, and they mostly just want it to be mowed every year so that it doesn't become... Uh, woodland like you can see all over the place because all around here used to be pasture uh, back in the day this is one of those days where we're trying to get a lot packed in it's already 11 a.m. because uh, we needed to wait for the dew to dry off of the hay before we bailed it and I have to work it for so <laughs> trying to get a lot packed into one day so let's uh, let's do it a little issue with the knotter which is why I greased it up. Nate's back there messing with the knotter. The technology that we're using to bale our hay is from the 1940s right? Yeah it's 40s technology. This was new in um, in the 40s and it still works really well. In fact, a lot of people still use equipment like this. It's not hard to find it. Most of the way that machines are made, though, are pretty fascinating. And the fact that you can make a knot with a machine, which is something that only you'd think that your fingers could do, is pretty crazy. And it's kind of a touchy thing. I remember the first time that we had to mess with the knotter, it was terrifying. So The only way to fix it is to run a few bales through it. And break a few bales, yep. Yeah. We'll obviously go over them again. You're engaged, just so you know. I think I'd give it one shot. Sometimes it works.
right, I'm off the tractor again because we're having massive issues with the baler. For a while, it was doing like a break four, make three, break four, make three, uh, which obviously isn't right, but it was working. And then um, I came around the corner and every bale you can see on the ground right now is busted. There's obviously a massive issue with the knotter and normally Nate can fix it. Boy, it smells like snowmobiling right now. Is there oil in that? The diesel. Oh yeah. gosh, it yeah, smells it burns like oil. It burns oil. Hilarious. Um, the barrel is running really hot. It almost didn't want to stop. Just kept going and going. I saw it up there. All right, so you think you've got this back? It should be ready to go when we get Again? back. Again? Okay. Nate's, think, Nate's thinking that there may be an issue because this stupid baling twine sometimes gets thicker, thinner, thicker, thinner. Uh, maybe it's that can in the way. I don't know. The twine comes out. It goes down through here. It's the tensioner here. Well, it I is mean, this one this time. You can try to get it through there. Not, really, not without tying not without it again. Not tying it, yeah. We haven't been using this tension control thing because the twine was so thick that it wasn't going through. It was just catching it. So maybe that was the issue. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see. Again, it's an old baler, so it's got issues, but it's got issues from 1948, which can be solved with our brains and mechanical know-how. Uh, thank you to YouTube for all the videos that people put up about this stuff. Uh, we can fix it. It's not something that you just, it's not something that's intuitive. Um, so I guess we're going to fire it up and see what happens, huh? No, we're going to go unload. Oh. Cool down. Unloading is cooling down? <laughs> we can fit about 40. Oh shit, I got to move some stuff for you. We can fit about 40 or 41 bales on the truck. We prefer doing it this way because it's easier to do it in small, tiny batches. Um, and we don't have a trailer. And it's hard to get a trailer in and out of where we need to be. Holy dragonflies. Nate, are you looking at this? There's gotta be 50 dragonflies right here. They're literally everywhere. <gasps> wow. I wonder if it has anything to do with us. I know that there are a lot of crickets and uh, grasshoppers that get scared out of the piles. They're all in these piles and in the grass and they get scared out when the baler runs through. Look at all these dragonflies. Might be easier to see them up against the sky here. Look at them all, Nate. Well, they just better stay over here because they eat bees and my bees are about a quarter mile that way, so. There's a baby. <gasps> Do you have a baby? Oh, it looks like I hear a baby. Where is she? Oh my goodness, it's a little goldie. It's a little leghorn. It's two little leghorns. Two eggs. Th three? Oh, I don't even know how many there are. Oh, that's special. Baby of the day. Baby of the day, chicken. Those are good. Those are easy. Those aren't hard. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go deal with that real quick. What? Well, I already tried to nurse, I mean, uh, milk her to see if she had any colostrum, and I did not see any. That's what I was doing when um, the other pig bit me in the crotch today. Yeah, that happens. I got bit in the crotch by a pig. I did not see it coming. I was kind of bent over, scratching uh, my pig's belly, my pregnant pig's belly. Ugh. And baby Sue, the, the mama of the little piglets came up and just like got me in the button crotch, so. 
Hey Geechee, we're home. All right, so we're still having massive baler problems. And what are you surmising it is now, Nathan? Oh, look at all that in there. We got to cut, cut that out of there. It's all right, so it might just be a major jam. Last oh, yeah, time it's a toy. I use my yeah. razor knife. We don't have it. Well, what are we going to use? Well, I'm going to use this knife. I don't want to bring it up too much, but. Boy is right, that's some serious layers in there. So that's probably what the problem is then. What is in that knot that I made? So, let's uh, go back. It probably was the fact that we didn't have the tensioner running and maybe a little bit bounced forward and caught on the, on the knotter and uh, therefore had a little extra and that probably bunched up and then started causing a problem, so. There's a reason to use every single part on this. I mean, do you think that's probably fairly think, accurate? Yes, yeah, that's why there was one side was longer on the bales than the other was because the, yeah. that we weren't using that tensioner. And then we, we had to cut and make that other knot. <clears throat> so the net, that knot getting caught in the knotters is probably what dumbed us up even further. Yeah. I'm just gonna get it all out of there, start over. Before we but after that, it. once it's fixed, it'll be fixed and It'll work well. This has happened before, but we weren't as smart about it, and I don't think we looked up here. We were just looking underneath back a few years ago. Doing this and preempting any more problems is kind of the best way to go. But it is frustrating because there's no easy way to get into or out of here. Uh, I can get my camera in, but it's pretty awkward, so. So that's what was, jeez. Oh it's hard as a rock in the middle too. So it tried a lot. There's more. Yikes. Now I feel bad. I can't believe it spit out the bales that it did. Could have had problems because it wasn't loosed up before, you know. Like it well, it. so yeah, so lots of stuff. So good, good preventative maintenance on the baler would have prevented this day from being um, as frustrating as it's been so far. So. Let's hope that that's what's up. I'm going to get back on the old horse and uh, ride. I'm going to do a thumbnail too. i got to turn this off or we're going to get copyrighted. <laughs> I can't do it. We just lost a bail. Do you want me to get out? Do you want me to do anything? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to videotape you. Slightly whole, huh?